In my last video, I built this plywood swing out seat and right from the start of the video, I pointed out that these hinges here were going to have a lot of stress on them and I wasn't 100% confident that the whole thing would work. Uh, it did, but it's not amazing and it could definitely do with some improvements. So I'm going to make those improvements in this video and hopefully that will fix it. But you never know, maybe they won't, maybe they might improve slightly, maybe they'll need more improvements. But one way or another, if we keep chipping away at it, I think we should be able to get a solid swing out seat out of plywood. The first thing I need to point out is I made this seat far too long. So from the hinge to the end of the seat, that's 58 centimetres. And my steel one was only 51. So that seven centimetres would make a significant amount of difference to the amount of uh, pressure that's been put on that uh, that hinge there, the amount of leverage and force on it. If you imagine if it was uh, say a metre long, the amount of leverage on this uh, hinge there, it would probably just break off. So the further we come in, the less uh, stress. And the thing is with this seat here as well, I only need it to go from here, swing out to the corner. So I don't need it to go that far, probably 40 centimetres, yep, I reckon that would be enough. And um, if I was sat here, I don't think there'd be much um, pressure put on the uh, hinge at all from there. There would be pressure, obviously, but I think the way I built it, it would have stood up to that. I couldn't be 100% about that, but I think it would have done. Uh, so anyway, I don't think it's that bad a thing that I've made it this way because uh, I've highlighted the, uh, the weak points and we can address those and really strengthen this thing up. And if you don't build it out as far as that as well, then I think this is uh, this should all work. So I would recommend that you wouldn't go any more than maybe 50 centimetres. And I can't see why you would want to go any further than that anyway. So like I say, that was my mistake, but maybe uh, in the long run, it might have been a good thing. And the other big mistake I made was using these bolts on the hinge. I should have put a rod all the way through like I did on my steel uh, seat. This bolt here is twisting, but if I put the rod through all the way, then there's no way it can twist. They'll, the two hinges will work together and keep it all straight. So that's what I should have done, but I was being impatient because I didn't have any rod in the workshop and I would have had to go out and get some. So I wanted to get the video done and I was just being impatient. But by being impatient, I've actually ended up causing other problems because of that bolt twisting there, it's actually put force on it's not actually a joint, but where this rail here joins this upright, it's put force on there and it's actually cracking this plywood. You can't see it. You can see how it's pulled that piece away, but that piece was never fixed. That's only there just to give uh, a little bit of meat there for the bar to go through. But uh, this uh, actual top rail is actually cracking a little bit. So I'm gonna replace the top rail, put the bar through there, and when it's all nice and square, I can't see uh, this rail having any problem because all it's doing is pulling on the bar and when the bar is square there shouldn't be any problem at all. The only problem at the moment is the fact that the bolt is on an angle so that really should make a big improvement. I put an old bit of pipe in as bushings for the bolts, but the bolts were 10 mil and the rod I'm going to use is 12 mil. So I'm going to use this bit of pipe here, but the rod doesn't quite fit in there. So I'm going to drill that out slightly. At the end of my last video, it was pointed out several times that there was a gap appearing along this ply here, and it certainly looked like that on the video, 
but honestly, it must have been an optical illusion, the way the ca camera has captured the plies, I, I, I don't know, but uh, it's not there. Well, I say it's not there. If you look very carefully behind this uh, hinge part here, that is pulling away from it, and there is a little gap there. But I don't think that could pull away because it's got the dowel going through it. On the other hand, the ply that was pointed out, I think that could pull away. So I think um, it would be worth getting this middle bolt here and put it closer up to this uh, top hinge. And then that really would hold that together. And one other weak point that I don't think would actually break is this piece here that's set into the main hinge. And the problem is, is it's broken the glue lines and it's relying solely on that dowel that goes all the way through. So when it's uh, straight out the seat and you put uh, weight on it, then there's no problem. It just, this piece here is just pulling against the uh, dowel. But when you put it uh, around one of the sides and you put weight on it, then this piece here is twisting and it's actually pivoting on this uh, dowel here. And that's why that line at the uh, back is broken that we showed earlier so uh, what I should have done is instead of putting one dowel there I should have put two in further apart and then I think that would have held it it wouldn't have been able to pivot and it may have saved the glue lines as well adding more dowels was a bad idea because they were too close to the edge and I ended up blowing out the side of the plywood I should probably make this whole section again but I am going to try and salvage it so my next thing I'm going to do is I've got these strips of plywood, I've sanded the film off the back because I'm going to glue those either side of this main hinge thing and sandwich it, clamp that right up and then I'm going to put a bolt all the way through so the bolt will pass through this piece here and I think that should fix uh, the uh, this hinge part, I really think it should work because the bolt will stop this from twisting plus the side pieces as well should uh, give it extra support. If that doesn't work then the next thing I'll try, I'll, I will remake this whole thing and what I'll do is these pieces here I'll add an extra one to the top of the frame on both so these two pieces of the frame will be sandwiched by two of these and um, that really should uh, sort it out, but I think it may get a bit bulky doing that. It may look a bit bulky, and I'd rather it work this way. If it doesn't, though, that's what I'll be doing next. And if you make your own, then that's an option. You could just go for that straight off. While the glue's drying, I'm going to try and get these uh, bushings out. So that got hot enough that it melted the glue. I've just cut this bar to length off camera and I've put a hole in the top so I can put a pin through. It's exactly the same as what I did on the steel swing out seat. And the other thing I did is I cut these washers in half. There's no real need to do that, but they just didn't need to be as thick as they were. That's an improvement, I think it should be. That's a big thumbs up, it really is a huge improvement and I do understand that if I was sat on the seat with my feet in the air it would be exactly the same as what I'm doing now but this just looks so much more impressive. With those improvements I'm a lot happier about anybody else making one of these, it really is pretty strong now, it holds my weight easily 
Uh, I'm about 80 kilograms, but I've really been stressing it. I've been swinging backwards and forwards, and a seat's not really made for that anyway. So just for sitting on, it would hold most people's weight, I would think. So I reckon if you want to make one of these, uh, you could copy what I've done and go ahead and make one. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you would like to support my channel, you can do so through Patreon, where I'm showing regular update videos from around the workshop, things that don't make it uh, into these videos. So I'll put a link somewhere around here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. And by the way, the next video definitely will not be anything to do with swing-out seats. I don't know what it'll be yet, but it won't be swing-out seats. Oh,